Hi everyone, I'm Joris, a Cloud Technical Resident at Google Cloud. And I'm Lydia, a Customer Engineer at Google Cloud. And welcome back to the Technical Guide for Startups, where we are creating a series of videos for technical enablement to start, build and grow their businesses successfully and sustainably in Google Cloud. In our previous episode, we shared with you how to build stream processing pipelines with Dataflow. Today, we are moving to our seventh stop, which is data visualization using Data Studio. We are going to kick off by covering an overview to the data lifecycle, what is Data Studio, how it works, and the building blocks before jumping into a demo to see how to create reports. And finally, we'll share a startup success story that used Data Studio to grow their business. So come on, let's go ahead to explore data visualization. But first, let's have an overview of the data lifecycle as most of the companies and businesses manage the data the same way. The first phase is to pull in the raw data, such as streaming data from devices, on-premises batch data, app logs, or mobile apps user events. Then, it's important to clean and transform the data before storing it into a format that is durable and that can be easily accessed. You can check the documentation to choose between a structure or unstructured storage and relational or non-relational databases. After data is ingested, stored and processed, it needs to end up in a format that lets it be easily accessed and queried to be analyzed and get insights. During the analysis phase, you might find it useful to generate complex data visualizations, dashboard, and reports to better understand and explain the results of the data processing to a broader audience. To make this easier, Google Cloud integrates with a number of reporting and dashboarding tools such as Looker, VI Engine, and Data Studio. Note that when analyzing data across your organization, Data governance is essential, so looking ahead, we will further integrate Looker with Data Studio so you can govern your data from one central location in Looker and build visualizations in Data Studio. If you want to learn more about the integration between Looker and Data Studio, please refer to the links in the description. So, what is Data Studio? Well, Data Studio is a tool that turns your data into informative, easy to read, easy to share, and fully customizable dashboards and reports. Data Studio's vision as a product is to simplify the critical steps in producing reports and dashboards. All you have to do is 1. Connect to all your data. Data Studio's built-in connectors make it possible to connect to virtually any kind of data. 2. Visualize with beautiful and informative reports. Turn your data into compelling stories of data visualization art. Quickly build interactive reports and dashboards with Data Studio web-based reporting tools. And three, share your reports and dashboards with individuals, teams, or the world. You can collaborate in real time and even embed your report on any website. So, how do we start? What are the blocks and the pieces that connect everything together? What we will need first is the data collected. The dataset are the files or the tables outside of Data Studio where your collected data actually resides. To start visualizing that data, it needs to be imported into Data Studio. Connecting to your data involves two components that work together, the data source and the connectors. Connectors connect your data to Data Studio. Connecting your data creates a data source in Data Studio. So, basically, a data source is an instance of a connector. Therefore, Data Studio uses data sources to build and create reports. These data sources let you configure the fields and options provided by the connector used to create that connection instance. In addition, data sources let you share information and insight with report viewers who might not be able to directly access your underlying data. And so, last piece is the report. The report is the visualized content from the data source. Reports let you visualize your data, gain insights, and share those insights with others. As mentioned, Data Studio allows you to connect to different data sources quickly and easily. No more exporting into Excel to upload into a reporting tool or refreshing your data sets to make sure your reports are up to date. Data is natively integrated and is directly based on the underlying datasets, 
making updates super simple. You can connect to over a dozen Google products. For instance, you can add analytics data to your dashboards to analyze and measure the performance of your website or mobile apps. You could also include Google Ads data to your dashboard to measure the performance of your digital marketing, or even add BigQuery data to your dashboard to analyze the data from your data warehouse or to visualize your key business metrics. In addition, the Community Connector program gives you virtually access to any internet-connected dataset. All you need is a developer and an API. You can check all new connectors in the description links. And as you can see, creation is a snap. So as soon as your data sources are connected, you can create multiple variations of charts as well as bespoke designs and brands. Reports can consist of multiple pages, charts, or other components such as controls, text areas, shapes, and images. The interface consists of an editor with drag and drop functionality with click to change dimensions, metrics, or even data sources themselves. So this is built for anyone to self-service. And of course, you can share reports for people to view the data or even give them edit access so they can change the structure. So let's see a real example. Thank you, Lydia. Now we are ready to jump on the Data Studio demo. Let's now take a look at Data Studio in action. First, I start by going on the Data Studio homepage at datastudio.google.com. Before we start building with Data Studio, I want to show you some dashboards from Data Studio's template gallery. These dashboards come in handy if you want to start from a pre-made dashboard and amend it to your use case, or if you're just looking for inspiration to make a dashboard from scratch. First, we'll take a look at the YouTube Analytics dashboard that is available here. Here at the top, there's a control that allows you to choose your data. In other words, you can just start from this template Simply plug your data into it to have your own customized dashboard that you can directly share with your stakeholders. These dashboards contain several metrics, such as number of views, average watch time, and so on. It is fully interactive. When I hover on the chart, I can see the data points and labels. I can also click on a specific country, here the United States, to see the data for this country only. Let's now take a look at another dashboard. This one is made from Google Analytics data. Here at the top, I can filter the data by region, channel, and more. On this page, I have several charts that allow me to track relevant metrics and derive insights. Next, I want to show you the dashboard that we will be using as a baseline for our demo. It shows site sessions, page views across different countries, channels, and demographics. Following the demo, you will be able to start using Data Studio and build such dashboards in a few minutes. Let's not wait any longer and jump right into the demo. Back on the Data Studio homepage, I can see the data sources and reports that I've recently used. I can also filter this list to see only the reports and data sources that I own. To create a report, I can either create a data source first, then a report later, or create a report first, then add a data source to it. To create a data source, click on Create, Data Source, then choose a connector. Let me choose Google Sheets here, then select the spreadsheet I want to use, then click on Connect. On this page, I can see the dimensions and metrics of my data source. It's also possible to change data types and default aggregation methods. At the top, I can choose the data credentials for my data source. Owner's credentials allow anyone using this data source to access the underlying data set using the credentials of the owner of this data source. Viewers' credentials require anyone using this data source to use their own credentials to access the underlying data set. On this page, I can also see the data freshness of the data. Note that some connectors allow to update the frequency of the update. More information in the description. If I want to create a report, I can just click on Create Report here at the top. However, I already have a data source from which I want to create a report for today. Let me then go back to the Data Studio homepage, click on Create, Report, then select the My Data Sources tab, then the sample Google Analytics data. As you can see, a table has been added automatically. I will remove it to include my own custom charts. 
let's answer some business questions using Data Studio. First, I would like to know the countries with the most sessions. I will include a geo chart to find it out. I go to Add a chart, then click on the geo chart, then select Session as a metric. Now, I will use a table to display the number of sessions and page views per country. I can add the relevant metrics by clicking on Add a metric, then selecting the desired metrics. Next, I will change the table style as I want page views to show as a bar instead of a number. Using the Style tab, you can easily customize your charts to look as you like. Let me then go to the Style tab, then in the Metrics column 2 section, I can change from number to bar. It is also possible to change the color of the bars from here. Next, I also want a different color for the geo chart. Again, using the Style tab, it is straightforward. Data Studio also comes with themes, helping you to maintain consistent formatting across your report. To pick a theme, simply go to Theme and Layout, then pick the one you like. Of course, you can also create your own custom themes to match your organization's branding, for example. More information on themes in the description box. Now that we have charts, we need to add text to bring more context so that we can share our insights easily with our team. For that, I will use a text box to add a title. What are the top countries for sessions? Then I can format it using the Style tab. I can just copy, paste, then edit this title before answering my next business questions, which is how are site sessions trending over time? This time, I will go for a time series chart. First, let me add the session count as a metric. Next, I want to compare that to the previous period. In order to do so, simply select Previous period from the Comparison Data Range section. Now, I will change the style of this time series, change the color, and then go to the legend section to center the legend and put it at the bottom. Next, I'm interested in finding the channels that are driving the engagement. To find that out, I add a bar chart, then select default channel grouping as a dimension, then session and page views as metric. I then change the style of the bars to fit my needs. Now, I want to show you how to enable cross-filtering. First, click on a chart and enable cross-filtering in the chart interaction section. I will do it for the bar chart and geo chart. Note that cross-filtering is now on by default for most data source types. And now the cool thing is that when I click on a channel or on a country, the whole dashboard immediately updates accordingly to reflect the data corresponding to those filters. Here, I choose to focus on the United States let me go back to the original setting by clicking the reason button on the top. Another way setting up filters is using controls. I want to use a day range control. For that, I click on add a control, then day range control, and place it wherever I like on my report. You can pre-select a given time range, however, I'll keep the auto day range setting for today. Let me now filter the data to a specific time range to see how the report updates. What about comparison metrics? I would like to know the proportion of each country when it comes to the number of sessions. I will include a comparison calculation to our table to find that information. First, I click on Add a metric, then select Sessions, then click on the pencil icon to edit the metric, and in a comparison calculation field, I choose percent of total related to base data. Note that you can also include running calculation to your tables and charts. And now I can see that 46% of my sessions are taking place in the United States. Oh, I just remembered that my teammate told me that it would have been nice to have the average number of page views per session. Therefore, I'm creating a custom field by clicking on Add a metric, Create field, setting up the name to be Average Page Views Per Session, and then in formula I type Page Views divided by Sessions. Data Studio finds the metric as I type them. We're done on that one. Of course, you can also add other pages simply by clicking on add a page and then adding your tables and charts to that newly created page. Okay, we have done quite some good work today. Let's take a look at our dashboard clicking on view here at the top. It looks great. Now we can share our report with others, schedule email delivery, get a link to the dashboard or even download it. 
What if you want to collaborate with teammates on building a dashboard? Well, Data Studio comes with collaborative editing, allowing multiple people to work on the same dashboard at the same time. So, as you can see, it's super easy to work with Data Studio, and that's why many customers use it to grow their businesses. One of them is Ferry God Boss, a US-based company that has been founded to create a space where women can crowdsource information to make informed career decisions. So they state that after seamlessly connecting BigQuery data to Data Studio, they have been able to visualize in real time and make sense of all the data they receive in the platform. Thank you for taking a quick tour of Data Studio with us today. We've seen where it fits in the data lifecycle, how it works, and how it helps you to share the value of your data across your organization. If you're looking for a tool to analyze your data, quickly and easily build dashboards and share insights with your teams, well, Data Studio is a solution for you and your organization. Want to find out more? Please refer to the links in the description to read more about Data Studio, use our ready-to-use templates, try the online course, or even learn more about Looker. Looking ahead, Data Studio is integrating with Looker to bring the best of self serve and govern business intelligence. Looker's semantic model allows metrics to be centrally defined and broadly used, making sure there is only one version of the truth across all of your data. If you're loving Data Studio, but you're starting to recognize the importance of data governance, you may want to take a look at Looker. If you want more information, please check the description box. That's a wrap for today. Our next video in this series will introduce you to our machine learning APIs so you can get even more value from your data. For now, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click on the bell icon to get notified each time a new video is posted. Thank you again for being here today, stay tuned and we'll see you very soon in the next video.